ஹே காய்ஸ் எல்லாத்துக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு சீஸ்லிங் ராஸ்கல் சேனல் இன்றைக்கி வந்து நம்ம சிக்கன் கொஃப்டா கறி எப்படி செய்கிறதுன்னு பார்க்க போகிறோம் எப்பொழுதுமே சிக்கன் கறி வச்சு சாப்பிட்றோம் இது ட்ரை பண்ணி பாருங்கள் சூப்பராக இருக்கும் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி யமி ரெசிபி தட் யூ ஆல் ஷுட் ட்ரை அட் ஹோம் ஸோ ஃபார் திஸ் ரெசிபி நான் வந்து ஒரு கேப்சிகம் எடுத்திருக்கேன் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் ரேட் Uh, green, yellow, whatever color you wanted to have. But I have taken today a green uh, capsicum. Uh, I'm going to chop it finely. Chinna podu sa vetti konga, cubes cubes sa vetti konga. Now you need one big onion. Nala thinna slice panni konga. Oru pachu molaga, nala kiri konga. Next you will need one medium sized tomato. Inna madri vandu dice panni vetti konga. Next, you will need potatoes. Now, I will put two potatoes in here. If you want to put it in here, put it in here. Potato is in the cube and put it in here. If you want to put it in the cube, put it in here. Next, you will need coriander. Coriander is in here. I will put it in here. Serms and leaves. Serms are in the leaves. Then, you will put it in the leaves. You will put it in the leaves. Next, we have 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. We have put it in the middle of this. We have put it in the middle of this. Next, we have to make it in the kofta. The kofta is exactly chicken balls. I have to make it in the chicken balls. Please refer to my YouTube channel, Seasoning Rascal, for the kofta's recipe or the chicken balls recipe. So, everyone will do one thing with kofta. This is my way of making kofta. Now, in the kofta, I have added in cheese also. But if you don't like cheese, you can remove it. And if you want more spiciness, you can add in green chilies. Now, I will add this ball. Straight away, I will add the pan. Because I wanted to fry after this. In the chicken balls, you need to add multi-purpose flour to coat the chicken balls. This is the one. தேவையில்லை Once the onion is transparent, add in the ginger garlic paste and saute it well. Once the ginger garlic paste and onion is cooked, add in the tomatoes and also the coriander stems and saute it well. Once this is cooked, you can add in the capsicum and saute it. Now, once the uh, tomato, onion and also the capsicum cooked well, you can add in the potatoes. Now, saute well and also add in some salt. Now, let the ingredients cook for almost 2 minutes and add in 1 cup of water and cook until the potato is cooked. After 2 minutes, you can add in 2 tablespoons of meat curry powder and mix it well. Now, add in 2 cups of water and cook this in low flame. Bring it to a boil and add in the green chilli. I'm also adding in 2 tablespoons of yogurt. Stir it well and bring it to a boil and add in the kofta that you have fried earlier. Now bring it to a boil and add in the remaining coriander. You can off the stove and the curry is ready. You can serve this chicken curry kofta with white rice and additionally it is the best combo with cucumber raita or onion raita. Try it at home. It's a very delicious recipe. Subscribe to Sizzling Rascal and see you in the next video. Bye guys.